These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all. Hello, I'm Megan Thompson with your afternoon update from ABC 15 Arizona. A bicyclist hit and killed in a crash in North Phoenix. This happened late last night near Cave Creek Road in Dynamite. Police say the driver involved did stay at the scene. The bicyclist has only been identified as a man. Police are still investigating what led up to this crash. And Phoenix police are still searching for a suspect in a deadly shooting. A 24 year old was shot at an apartment complex near 44th Street in McDowell. Police say surveillance video shows the suspect leaving in a vehicle right after Anyone with information is asked to call Phoenix police or silent witness. Now to a big issue that will be on your ballot in November, abortion laws in Arizona. For months, we've been telling you about the push for a ballot initiative that, if approved by voters, would allow abortions up to the point of viability, typically around 24 weeks. Now it has a name, Proposition 139 or the Arizona Abortion Access Act. ABC 15 was the only station present as signatures were certified by the Arizona Secretary of State to get Prop 139 on the ballot. Arizona for Abortion Access telling us they feel confident about their initiative, but the group it goes too far is pushing back. We got to this moment because Arizonans are so clear about wanting to have personal freedoms in our lives. In this amendment, you won't even find the word doctor or physician or woman for that matter. And so those are the sorts of things that voters need to know before they uh, go to the polls. State law currently bans abortions after 15 weeks. There was still active litigation about the language of the measure. Players right now are prepping for, hey, we're going Indy for two very intense, hard, long practices that are going to be souped up. Then there's going to be a mock game and then we're going to play. So that's where they're going. As, as, that's their mind frame as they get on the plane. Our Arizona Cardinals, they're getting ready to take flight. The team heading to Indianapolis for two joint practices with the Colts before the two teams face off in the preseason action. That game will kick off at four on Saturday evening. Celebrating an Arizona woman and stroke survivor who isn't letting anything stop her from enjoying her 90s. Her two main motivators to stay active, her family and her Indiana Hoosers. ABC 15's Jordan Bonke shows us how Carolyn can. When Purdue took the court ahead of their national championship appearance versus UConn here in the Valley a few months back, Carolyn Kroger of Chandler was there in the building cheering for the Boilermakers, but with a smidge of reluctance. I would say definitely I am a Hoosier. She explained for an Indiana grad who spent 85 of her 90 years in the Hoosier state, cheering for the Boilermakers can at times be uncomfortable. But Carolyn is a mom before she's a fan. So when two of her three kids went to Purdue and they asked her to go to the biggest college basketball game of the year, the Indiana fan said, I don't think I can climb all the way up to the rafters. She says that because Carolyn isn't just 90 years old. She's also a stroke survivor battling scoliosis. So navigating big crowds at a sporting event is what folks like Carolyn would call a high risk event for injury. Oh, well, the big mantra to anyone my age, do not fall. So ahead of the game, Carolyn went hard in the paint at Vitality Sarco Health Clinic in Chandler. One hour, twice a week, with special attention on her balance and her lower body strength so she doesn't rely on a cane or a walker, which staff says isn't always easy when you're 90, but still possible. They're just eroding this false paradigm that aging has to be bad because it doesn't have to be. And if Carolyn worked that hard to watch her kids' boilermakers, can you imagine the work she's putting in today as she plans to see her Hoosiers this fall in person at the Rose Bowl? Everyone pushing and shoving. And She'll be ready. Oh, we would just yell, go IU. Time now for that most accurate forecast. I'm meteorologist Iris Hermosillo. Look for mostly sunny skies and temperatures that are going to be just as hot as yesterday. We did climb to 108 yesterday, and today it looks like a repeat here in Phoenix with temperatures in the upper 70s in Flagstaff, upper 80s to low 90s from Prescott to Payson to Sedona, and 110 out at Lake Havasu today. A chance for some more thunderstorms, primarily along the rim and over that higher terrain in eastern and southeast Arizona. But there's a very slight chance for a few pop-up storms here in our central deserts, and we'll have to watch for a stray storm or two that could impact 
impact the valley this afternoon into the evening. Best chances come by about 3 p.m. through about 8 o'clock here tonight. So watch for that. Again, not everybody gets rain, but a few isolated storms will be possible. Otherwise, look for a high of 108 in Phoenix. And tomorrow, 109 and drier as we lose some of that monsoon moisture, getting hotter too. By Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, we're talking highs at 110 to 111 with overnight lows in the upper 80s. Those storm chances ramp back up this weekend, especially in the high country, but here in the valley too. Another update tonight. Until then, get the latest news, weather, and traffic at abc15.com or by downloading the free ABC 15 mobile app. These latest headlines from ABC 15 are sponsored by Lerner and Rowe Injury Attorneys. One call, that's all.